Hello, I'm going to show you now what are the features of uh, some of the features, at least of Dotwin Pro, which is an extension for uh, the free and open source plugin uh, Dotwin, which is a scripting animation system. Dotwin Pro adds uh, more scripting features, but also some visual editor stuff. In this case, we're going to check out uh, the Dotwin animation feature. Let's say, for example, now that I want to fade out this logo. Right now there is no animation, as you will see. I'm going to play it and nothing changes. Now I will select the logo and I just edit a Dotween, Dotween animation. Now I select m the type of animation that I want to apply, in which case it is fade. This is the duration of the animation, let's set it to around to something. The delay is uh, uh, the eventual delay after which the animation will start, in which let's set it to just 36 is uh, is uh, the easing of the animation for a fading linear is nicer loops we don't want no loops but otherwise you can set it to infinite or the given number you want and select the type of loop that you want to apply in which case in this case let's set it back to one auto kill will automatically kill the twin after it's complete id if you're used to do twins scripting features uh, id is used to control twins bn and id instead than via references via reference in this case we don't care about it so we just go on. 2 is what we want to twin this fade to, in this case to 0, so it's a fade out. Let's just now try to play it and voila, the logo is gonna fade out and when it's done it will stop. Here you see that we have a 2, for example I could set this to from, this would completely change the direction of the twin, in which case the logo will be immediately Will, be, will start up as faded out and fade in. Let's try to play it. And here it is. That's a fade in. Okay, let's set it back to two. Now let's see some other types of animations. For example, we have text animations. This is the text I just selected. Let's add the twin animation component and select a text animation. Uh, now the current text is this text is going to be tweeted, oh yes, good. Uh, duration, let's set it to something around 2, let's give it a little delay, just because while I'm recording, Unity stutters a little when it starts playing. Linear is, uh, is ok, loops uh, 1, and uh, let's change it to, this is the tweeted text, oh my god. And let's play it, let's see what happens. Voila! The text is changed to this new text. Here are some interesting options. For example, I could set it to relative, in which case this text will be added to the current existing one. Let's check it out. You see? Otherwise I could also set scrambled cars, in which case the text will be already formed but via scrambled characters that will gradually become the text that we wanted to show. And that's it. Now, an important feature is, is that you can add more than one Dotween animation to an object. For example, let's say that I also want to, oh, let's set it back to just relative. I want to also change the color of uh, this text. So I add another Dotween animation and I go to color. Now I want it to become, well, this color while it animates. Let's set same duration so it's nice and same delay. We'll use an output is in this case, which is OK. Let's try to play it. And voila, it's tweened and also changes color. Now you can play with it, but as you see, let's see, you can also tween obviously the movement on a, of an object. In this case, we selected this cube, which is called cube with transparency because it is, uses, is, it is using a material that has transparency. So let's first uh, move it, let's give it a little delay too. Let's see what happens if I move it to 4, why? It will move to 0, 4, 0. You see? If I set it to relative, it will just add 0, 4, 0 to its current position, so it will move just up. And even here, I could add more, let me minimize this so it's more visible. I could add more animations, for example, a scale. 
let's scale this to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 that also give this the same duration and delay so they move smoothly together oh, let's set this to loop yo yo and now this will move and scale and after the twin is finished it will go back and forward because we set the twins to loop at minus one which means infinite loops so it will go on forever now let's see the last important feature which is very useful let's say that for example i don't want the logo to fade out immediately but i want to control it let's just set to the canvas uh, a wave button let's also move it down okay and we'll call it start fade out okay now i select the button and the new unit ui ui has this uh, nice feature which is on click where you can add objects uh, and uh, call some of their functions let's now add the dotwin pro logo with the dotwin animation attached when the dotwin animation is attached you will find within all these functions in dotwin animation oh let me minimize this otherwise it won't be visible in the uh, in the screen recording okay let's select the twin animation and okay you can't see it but you will see various features among which uh, pause play toggle pause restart now we're gonna select play the twin animation play and we're gonna set the logo not to start automatically so i will uncheck auto play now when i go to play this scene nothing will happen with the logo until I press start fade out and that's it hope you like it and bye